Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm headed to the base camp, the newly renovated base camp. I'm feeling good. It's been hot. It's been about the storm all day. But before we head down here, let me take you back to some footage of the last couple of weeks of the other renovation. pallets from the pallet palace the rain can't stop the renovation these tarps well I'm always gonna have to have a tarp on the on this side to keep my bench from getting wet this tarp right here Is temporary because I'm going to do another wall right there but then again I'll probably cover it with a tarp too I'm just trying to keep everything inside dry everything's just getting rotten moldy out here I'm burning these pallets baby they're soaking wet but I'm burning them they gonna burn all the old poles, I'm replacing them with two by fours slowly. I had to lift this roof up, man, with a brace. Good thing it's raining hard. <laughs> Somebody called fire department. I started this renovation yesterday and uh, I didn't really film anything, I took pictures. I got my trusty D-Walk grill. not it's not your conventional bushcraft shelter but then again this base camp has never been your your uh, pure bushcraft shelter and um, I just want to put some more years on this place man everything's getting rotten Burnwood bushcraft 1.0 started my journey into the bushcraft and and we're all the way up this is 4.0 we're looking at getting a house within the next year or less and the the COVID-19 thing kind of slowed us down. And when we buy a house, I'm going to build a freestanding base camp out of lumber and cinder blocks and a metal roof that's going to last a lifetime. But I just wanted to get this place up a little bit more better shape so it, it'll be here for years for people to enjoy, whoever um, encounters it. And I can't believe how long this, this wall has lasted. But you can see that I, I got it off of the... When I first started, I was an idiot. I nailed these boards to the tree. Well, now I got them nailed into the two by fours. But I'm still tying to the tree, but at least I'm not driving nails in the trees, right? So what I'm planning on doing is, um, I'm just gonna keep this footage for a while, hold on to it. And if it'll, if it'll ever stop raining, and stop being so daggum humid. And then once everything dries out, I'm going to I'm going to treat all this wood with uh, a sealant. Once I get everything done, I'm going to show you the progress of this whole video, and then we're going to overnight to cap it all off. What's up, little guy?
let's get down to the first order of business, shall we? Cheers, guys. Welcome to the renovated base camp. Looking nice and cozy. Let me show you around a little bit, show you what I did. One of my main objectives was to uh, get rid of the rotten pallets. That was uh, the walls. And I wanted to get everything off of the trees. So I took the ridge pole off the tree here, but I have two by four tied to the tree. The back right here, I have the pallet screwed into my bench. And the roof is resting on the pallet. Nothing is tied to the trees anymore. The metal's not touching the trees. There's a gap right there. You can't see that, but there's there's no metal. You can see where I had it tied before. Right there. So it's almost a freestanding structure except for the front support, which is tied to the trees. Everything is screwed in. Before, water always ran in back in that back corner, down into the middle of the pallets, because I didn't because of the the support that I had tied to the trees. Now everything is there's plenty more runoff, more hang off for the water to go. We're gonna start this fire with a black and white fire starter, fire fuzz. We're gonna burn all these pallets tonight. I'm working on my suntan. Man, that fire is hot as hell. Got some lump charcoal right here. Probably don't even need it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a few pieces on the fire. Because I'm about to cook a steak. Wait for this fire to go down. I'm going to put my steak on that son of a bitch. Look what I just found in this bag of lump charcoal. Fatwood fire starter four pack. Four pack, two sticks to start a fire. Wait a minute, is it four or is it two? What I got right here is diced peppers and onions. We're going to saute those up a little bit. Now we got some canned baked beans. And I added a squirt of mustard, a squirt of ketchup. A little bit of chili powder, black pepper. Montreal steak, spicy. We got some slow cooking action going on. That means it's time for another beer. Might as well drink a beer while we wait, right? I ain't in no hurry. I got all night long. Oh yeah. Probably like damn burn wood. 
you acting like it's your birthday or something. You damn right, it is my birthday. And you might be saying, Burnwood, are you gonna get fucked up on your birthday? Can somebody please give me a hell fuck yeah? I ain't done yet.